Hello YouTube, BlueCFL here. Sorry I wasn't able to get a video up the past week or two, but I'm here this week. This is an oscilloscope. I'll explain why this is here later. You know what this is. And you know what this is. It's my 2001. I may have mentioned this before, but I'm having a problem with my 2001 outputting some rather nasty FWR. Uh, full wave rectified power. I want it to output filter DC, and I believe it will do that if it, the capacitors work properly, but this being an old panel, I think the capacitors are getting up in age and not working as well as they did back in the day. Uh, one of the last times I connected a horn to this, it didn't sound real good, um, so I've got this oscilloscope here, and I will measure the current coming out of the bell circuit, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Bell circuit, bell circuit, signal circuit, uh, yeah, don't hit me for that. I'm not Canadian. All right, you're going to power this up. It does take a minute to boot. Don't mind the mess in the back. I know I keep saying that. Just got to clean up someday. All right, we're powered up. Uh -huh. Let's see, channel one is on. I'm going to hit the run stop button. I'm going to get the yellow line going through. I'm going to set this to 10 volt increment. That's where it's at right now. Now, if we look there, we're basically getting no voltage through there. It's because the panel is off right now. I'm going to try to reach over here with keeping the camera still and turning on. All right, panel is on. We are getting approximately negative 22 volts. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to read an oscilloscope, this main line horizontally going through is zero volts, and each of the dotted set of lines is going in increments of, as I have it set here, 10 volts. So that's zero, negative 10, negative 20. Um, I can change that to five if I want to, to fine tune it a little more, but 10 is the best spot at the moment. And it actually tells me right here. And there's timing right here, which is set to eight milliseconds, which we can fine tune that when I uh, put the panel into alarm. So that's the supervision voltage, uh, reverse polarity, obviously. Um, and one of the things, I have the probes connected. And with the probes connected, it gives me an earth fault. You can see the light flashing, the lower light on the main control card all the way on the left. Uh, I'm going to put it into alarm. I've got no horns. I just have the light. Now you see that is not clean. That is uh, quite dirty. Now, peak to peak, that is 10 volts. So that's a 10 volt difference going from the bottom of the waveform there all the way to the top. Now it's averaging approximately 27 volts, which is uh, a little over um, what I'd like, but um, giving it to voltage drop and everything, uh, I've seen alarm panels output more than that. However, if we count, it's 10, 20, 30. Now we're in the middle of 30s there, so that's uh, approximately 35 volts in the middle there. So we're averaging uh, at the peak, all the way at the top is 35 volts, and uh, the minimum is maybe 24. So I'm getting between 24 and 35 volts um, with this FWR right here. I'm not going to go with the uh, exact timing because we kind of know it's 60 hertz. The U.S. Power Service here. Uh, if there's anything else useful I can show on here, um, I'm not using the other lead. Let's silence this so this doesn't flash. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, something I want to fix. I want this to be a nice straight line going through the middle here, and unfortunately, it's not doing that right now. Um, 
be compatibility with uh, some of the newer stuff to get that fixed and get that all squared away, which should just be a capacitor or two to replace, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll have this taken apart for a little longer, unfortunately, but hopefully within the next month or two that this will get working. I've got things going now. Ooh, look at that. My battery's low. I guess it's time for me to head out. Blue CFL out, and I'll hopefully I'll see you in the next week. If not, the week after.